Having to pull out in the traffic at a diagonal angle is a bit scary when you can't see anything out the back passenger side window because of the static curtain. I'm going to eventually replace it with a functional one, but for now, I'll show you how to remove all of them. The curtain is held tightly in place to the door panel, as well as up here on the window frame. They're actually secured with a few screws. On the bottom, it's hidden just inside the curtain. It's actually set about half an inch in. I can feel it, but I can't move the curtain enough to show it. Let's start by unbuttoning it from the side of the window frame, then I'll grab my Phillips head screwdriver. Now we can see the screw. It looks to be an inch and a quarter long. Let's get this screw out and then the two on the other end. With the bottom free, we can flip the curtain up and expose the top screws. There's one here, 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 and here. So five total. Ah yes, this is another future project. A previous owner fixed the broken window by shimming it into place. This will eventually be properly fixed. All the screws are out and the curtain removed. Just look at that view now. Don't mind that giant pile of mulch we got from Chip Drop. Alright, now for the other side. All but one screw came out on this side. This one is stripped and seized. My screw extractor won't even work, so it's time to drill a pilot hole. I find that using a step bit works well to remove the screw head while leaving enough of the screw behind to grab a device grip. Perfect. Now to extract the rest of the screw. That came out pretty easily, and best of all, no damage to the window frame mounting hole, or the curtain itself. Finally, the rear window. Just like the sides, the screws are hidden on the ends by the curtain. All I need to do is take them all out, and I suspect the top part will unscrew the same as the door curtains. I got the two screws out here, but there's actually a third one hidden four pleats in from the outside. Now we can flip it up and see one, two, three, four, and five screws total. That's so much better. I'll need to figure out how to clean this up later. The top screws are also the one and a quarter inch long ones. I'm going to keep all the screws together in a bag along with the curtains in case I decide to reinstall them later. In case you're wondering, I'm using some cardboard and a bolt in the beer pin holes to keep the casket from moving while I have the car parked, otherwise it'll want to roll out the back. You wouldn't think it's very secure by looking at it, but it actually works fairly well in a pinch until my actual beer pins show up, and then it's goodbye to this. I hope this helps you out if you have a hearse and you needed to remove the curtains. I'm going to keep my Cadillac videos on a separate playlist from the TC, but if you want to see more of either car, and you haven't already done so, please hit subscribe below, and as always, thank you for watching.